In this video I'm doing a review of the Ryobi 40 volt expanded power head as well as the pole saw string trimmer, edger, and hedge trimmer attachments. So the first attachment I'm using here is the string trimmer. I only have a small front and backyard to take care of and I use it about every other weekend so about 50 times over the past two years and it's held up fine. So these were some of the first tools that I got whenever we moved into our house and I've had them for just over two years now. So I'm really doing a review of my experience so far with them and showing how they've held up. I imagine most homeowners are more accustomed to using a two-stroke gas engine for these types of tools. I know I was before I got these tools and I remember two of my primary concerns were, will the battery last long enough and are these tools going to hold up? And I can say that for the average homeowner that doesn't have a lot of land to take care of, these tools will be fine. Now if you're thinking of running a commercial lawn service, these are probably not the right tools for the job. But most people also don't want to drop $400 on a two-handed Honda string trimmer. And the next attachment I'm going to pop on here is the hedge trimmer. I don't have this attachment out quite as often, so I've probably only used it about 10 times over the past two years. But I found that it's held up well, and it's powerful enough to cut anything that can fit in between the blades. And most people are probably used to the plug-in electric variety of hedge trimmer anyways. So transitioning to a battery operated one is probably not much of a change. The next attachment I'm going to do a demo with here is the pole saw. This is the 10 foot pole saw attachment and it comes as two pieces. You get the extension that goes in the middle and then you get the saw attachment that goes on the end. I've also had this for about two years and I don't use it as often so maybe only 10 or so times and it's usually with pretty small branches. My only complaint with this tool is that when you have the extension on and you're cutting a larger limb there tends to be a little bit of vibration. It still cuts through the limb just fine, but it's just kind of annoying. This is the first pole saw I've ever used, so I'm not sure if this is something that they all do and it just comes with the territory, or if it's just something this Ryobi saw does, or maybe I'm just using it wrong. But in the end, it's not the biggest problem, it's just kind of a minor nuisance. And the only maintenance I've had to do on it is make sure there's enough bar oil in the tank. At this point, the chain is still sharp enough that it cuts through everything just fine, but I imagine at some point it will either need to be replaced or sharpened. So at this point it was starting to rain so I had to stop for the day, but all the work I had done up to this point was on a single battery charge and it still had plenty left just to give you an idea of how long it lasts. Ironically I've never had anything break on these tools until the day I decided to record this video, and then I over tightened the boom clamp that holds the attachments onto the power head, which caused it to strip out and then my only option was to replace it. Luckily a replacement boom clamp is only like $10 from Amazon and it's also really easy to install, and I show how I did that in another video. So with the new boom clamp installed and a fresh battery charge, I took the pole saw out without the extension this time just to section up the limbs and clean up the yard. Using the pole saw in this configuration is kind of nice because you don't have to bend over and it also doesn't have that annoying vibration. I also like using it instead of a gas chainsaw because you don't have to pull start it, you just pull the trigger when you want to cut. And you also don't have to leave it idling which means there's less noise for your neighbors to listen to. So the final attachment here is the edger attachment. As for this attachment, I've also had it for the full two years. And in that time, I've probably used it about 20 times. It's held up just fine, but I have noticed that the blade is kind of dull, so I probably need to replace that at some point. I have found that this attachment by far drains the battery faster than all of the others. So if you have a small amount of driveway and sidewalk space that needs to be edged, this tool is probably fine. However, if you have a lot of edging to do, I would suggest purchasing a second battery. Or if you absolutely have to, just use a gas tool for this. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to share my experience after two years of owning these tools. Other than a few inconveniences here and there, I'm still overall satisfied with this equipment. These are some of my favorite tools, and given the chance, I would definitely purchase them again. And if you're a devout fan of gas engines, I would say I understand, I definitely was too. But give them a chance, and you might find out that you like them. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if it was helpful, and thank you for viewing.